So we just got a new grant from NIH and it's going to allow us to really expand our personalized medicine program, which is a program aimed at using genetic information to improve the care of patients. So this grant has three very specific aims. One is to expand the science and the translation here at the University of Florida um, into these different areas uh, of initially cardiology and now out to broad spectrum of different um, patient opportunities. The second aspect of the grant is going to be taking the grant statewide. So we're going to offer this new genetic personalized medicine program to our partners at Orlando Health and some of the community hospital practices through partnerships with Florida State University. And then the third part is an educational aim. We realize that if we're really going to translate and implement genetic information, we're going to have to train the next generation of physicians and healthcare providers to interpret and better use genetic information. The particular focus that we have right now is with um, genetic testing for a very commonly used drug called Plavix or Clopidogrel. And there's a certain percent of the population who, because of their genetic makeup, that's probably not a really, a really good drug for them. It probably can't work very well. The new areas we'll be focusing on in the short term with this new grant uh, here at the University of Florida will be um, for some drugs that are used in, in a variety of patient populations. So um, the drugs are called azathioprine or sigmocaptopurine, and um, those are used commonly in patients with um, ALL, which is the most common pediatric cancer. Um, also in patients who, um, gastroenterology patients, particularly those with Crohn's disease, and so both pediatric patients and adult patients. So it's a terrifying time for healthcare because we see every day in the paper that we're dealing with significant costs and healthcare issues and uncertainty. Um, but here is the greatest opportunity for medicine to continue to advance to improve both quality and cost. This is exciting for, for the University of Florida and for the state of Florida because we really are at the cutting edge of this. So we're one of only a few institutions in the country doing this using genetic information to guide therapy. And as part of the CTSI, we really have a mission to really help to spread this across the state of Florida.